Hi everyone, so just a quick video for you today. I was actually hoping to make a tutorial uh, of this project since I have made a very similar um, one recently and whilst I finished the first one I thought oh when I make the second one I'll actually make a video and have a proper tutorial of it. Unfortunately I had issues with my camera and I really wanted to finish the project today so there is no tutorial, but um, I'll probably need a few more of these for in the in the near future, I would say. So if you would like to see a proper tutorial for it, give me a shout in the comments, and uh, I will see what I can do about it. So I keep saying project and project, and you're looking at something that looks like a card, and you're probably wondering um, what I'm talking about. Well, this is actually a handmade uh, CD case and this particular one here is for three CDs. Well obviously you're looking at a wedding photo of mine so you can probably guess that the CDs have something to do with the wedding. Um, it's actually a case for my wedding video. Now obviously I had copies of my wedding video for my closest uh, family made professionally and uh, they were nicely presented in a nice box and so on. However, there were lots of friends and family members who wanted the video as well, or who wanted a copy of the of the CDs, and uh, I didn't really have any, any nice cases for those um, copies. So I decided to make a few myself, because I thought it would be just nicer to give people, you know, the video in a nice personalized box. It's probably much easier for a person to find it that way rather than just looking through hundreds of those plasticky shop bought boxes. So I thought that um, it would be a nice idea for a, for a gift for people. So this particular guy is going to go to my auntie in Poland. She actually already has the uh, CDs with the videos and since she's a big fan of my handiwork I thought that I would, as, a, as a birthday gift I would make her that uh, case. Now she got the wedding video CDs already ages ago before I actually came up with the whole idea of making them a bit personalised. So I'm sorry auntie that you won't be the first one to get one but this one is different to the other ones I made before so hopefully you're gonna like it. So um, my C my um, wedding video actually has uh, or is recorded on three CDs hence I needed a case for three CDs and I will show you right now what it looks. So here is the front. I've used my recently purchased um, a Marty Stewart punch. It's one of those ones where you actually have the corner one and the border one, so it's, I think they call it all round uh, punches. And I have to say, I'm absolutely delighted with it. It works very well, and I'm, I'm very happy with the result. And it actually suited my uh, dimensions here perfectly and my size of, of my box, so it looks gorgeous, I think. Now, the box is red because my shoes at my wedding were red, so the box is supposed to kind of symbolize that. The kind of tealy aqua color here that you can see that was actually partially color of our wedding invites that I've made myself as well so it kind of goes back to this and we've got a few pearls here just for the bling uh, and so that it looks nicer. Now the pouch just opens like this there's another photo here as you can see and there's a little sticker there that says I love you and you see again here I just used the border punch itself just for a little bit of matching and other of our wedding photos and here we're apologies for it, Polish. Um these are basically this is this is going to be the C D with the speeches. So that basically says speeches. So we have a nice little pocket here and I just have a random C D here so you can see um the C D just nicely fit in there and it's nice and snug and my auntie can put her CDs with the speeches over here. And then the box opens again, it flaps open. And over here we have part one and part two, and you can see it's the same border punch, again with a little bit of a different hearty uh, design paper. So we can flip it close, and then at the end we can just see my little stamp that says that it's handmade by me. So here is basically the box, that's, that's all it is, it's pretty simple. It's uh, nice and dimensional here, it has enough space to um, take all the CDs. In fairness, the first one that I made that I will actually pop a photo of at the end um, was a little bit too thin. I didn't actually take into consideration the thickness of three CDs in the box. So it is a bit important to take that into consideration when you're making it. Now, just in case you would like to get an idea of um, of um, how you can make one of those, basically I used a 12 by 12 sheet of uh, red cardstock, and I cut two pieces of it. 
So those two flaps are uh, the first piece, and that piece was actually 10 inches and three quarters, so 10 and three quarter inches uh, long by um, five and a quarter inch tall. So all of this is five and a quarter, and that piece here was 10 and three quarters. And I have a score line here in the middle, so I scored it at five and a quarter and five and a half. And then I took a second piece that was again five and a quarter tall, but this one was six inches long, and it was scored in five and a quarter and five and three eighths. So because there's only I needed only a smaller gap here, so there's only an eighth of an inch here, whereas here already we have a, a, a quarter. Um, so then I kind of tapered the, the sides of the where it, it was obviously a bit longer because it was six inches long in comparison to the five and a quarter. So the bit that was left after the um, after the scoring on the side, I just tapered the the bits, and you can see it's probably just there. Not sure if it's actually gonna show. I tried to make it quite neat. However, it's actually the tapered piece is kind of glued around here, and then it's covered with the paper, so you can't really see it. So that way, I made those two pieces all together. I then added some matting papers here, and as you can see here, I then created little pockets with the border punch. Uh, again, uh, they were kind of uh, hinges on the sides here that were tapered, and they are just glued to the um, to the um, base, so to the red cardstock. Um, these ones, actually, the pieces of paper that I used for the pockets, I actually wrote that down. They were three. So there were three of them, obviously, and they were five and seven eighths uh, wide and three and a half inches uh, tall. And then I scored them on uh, three eighths on both sides, so three eighths here and three eighths here, and five eighths from the bottom. And this is how I made it. But obviously, you can make the dimensions suit whatever you want to. You might want to have a taller pocket, a little bit of a lower pocket, you know, it's really up to what you want and what you need. I think the five and a quarter for the kind of square, so the width and the and the height of the of the box, let's call it, is quite neat. As you could see here, I'll just pull up my CD again. As you can see here, the CD is nice and snug when it goes into it. There is still a little bit space around it, so it's not like it's too tight. And I can assure you, three CDs fit into it very nicely because I already made one of these and it was really, really nice. Now, the previous project that I've made actually had um, a little bit of a different design. So it had a ribbon that went around it and you could actually tie it here on the front. Now, the ribbon was actually quite useful in the previous one because, as I said, I made it a little bit too snug and the three CDs in it caused it to open a little bit, so the ribbon actually kept it tight. Now this one, because I did take into consideration the thickness of the CDs, and I made that a quarter of an inch, um, it seems to be nice and snug and close on its own. Now what I was thinking to do is to put a uh, Velcro dot here and here to be able to close it that way with the Velcro, but then I kind of um, embellished this part with the photo and the border and I realized that I would probably need to destroy part of it with the Velcro if I wanted to put it in. So if I put the CDs in and I feel the need for it and I would be worried that it's not going to hold together too well, I probably will add the Velcro dot. At the end of the day it's not going to be probably um, a big issue, but for now because it seems to be quite nice and it holds together on its own nicely, um, I thought that I will not um, put the Velcro for now and I'll just leave it that way. So I hope you like it. I'm pretty sure that my auntie will like it because she's basically very, very supportive and he us she usually likes everything I make. Um, I know that uh, when she saw the first box that I made actually for her daughter, who is my um, godmom, uh, she was quite jealous that she didn't get one. So I'm, I'm keeping that a secret from her. I know she actually isn't online, so I don't mind posting that here already. However, next month is her birthday and this is going to be her birthday gift. Um, and I hope she's going to like it. So like I said, I tried to give you a few of the dimensions that I used, but if you'd like to see a proper tutorial of it, give us a shout if you feel that uh, there is a need for it. I am more than happy to try to make uh, another uh, of those uh, um, CD cases, and I'll, I'll, I'll try to then set up my camera properly so that I can do a tutorial for you. So that's it for today. I hope you have a lovely day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.